Hey everybody, it's Josh here. I've got a quick, fun little tutorial for you here. It's been a little while since I did my last tutorial. A lot of you know that I started this year off finishing and launching a handful of courses, and then it seemed like once that was done and I was getting ready to get back into doing some tutorials, the web design business just took off and we've been slammed recently. But things have settled down a little bit and I'm really, really excited to get back to doing some tutorials and offering some free resources for you guys. So I have a, like a whole list of tutorials that I'm getting ready to get started on, but I figured I would just give you this quick one just to hold you over. And what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna create a custom text underline effect. So I built this site a while back and you'll see down here that there's a little section of text here where it says simple, quick, and cost effective that has not only a color change and not only italicized text, but there's this line under it that is not your average text underline. It's actually like a squiggly, sketchy style line that really accents these words. And this client specifically asked me to highlight these words somehow. He was like, I really want to, I really want to highlight simple, quick, and cost effective. And you know, at the start, I was thinking, okay, we can just you know do them bold or something like that, or just do a text underline. But I just happened at that time to be on the front page of Basecamp, which is actually the project management software I use. And I noticed that they had the same effect right here to where the, you know these words just have that little underline. And you can tell it's kind of a sketchy line. It's not your typical boring, just text underline. So I wanted to create this effect. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create this custom effect with this little sketch line. Now, what we're gonna do to do this is we're just gonna use a little bit of CSS. It's gonna be very easy and very user-friendly. And I do wanna say, if you like this effect, I actually go into this in more detail in my Divi CSS course. So if you like this tutorial and you're interested in learning more about CSS to really level up as a web designer, check out my course. You'll get, uh, use the promo code below and you'll get a discount when joining the course. And again, we go into this in a lot more detail and it's really gonna help you level up to become a more valuable web designer. So with all that said, let's get into it. First things first, on my tutorial site here, I've got a little section of text and we're gonna apply this effect to this right here where it says, the best Divi resources. So we're gonna pretend like we wanna highlight this text right here with that sketch underline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use inspect element. And if you're not familiar with this, don't worry, I have a tutorial on this and I'll link that below. Uh, I use inspect element for everything code related. And so we're gonna look at this. And again, if you've been through my CSS course, you know how to do this. This is a breeze for you now. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna see a couple things. This little text underline section has a class and it's called sketch underline. And in that class, there's just a few things. There's some padding, there's background size, and then there is background itself. And look at that, you'll see that the background has an image and that image is called sketchline.png. So if I take that out, bye bye goes the sketch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this exact image and I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm gonna copy this URL from where the backslash starts at WP content all the way past the file name. So I've got that copied and I wanna show you this because this is how I took this idea from Basecamp. So this line that you're seeing on Mag the Magnify site is actually uh, the line here in Basecamp. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. This is a really handy little trick. So I'm gonna pull the browser down here. Now what I'll do is I've copied this URL path and I'm gonna paste that in here and magnify and watch this. So it says magnify.com slash WP content, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna click enter and there's our line. Check that out. So that's a really cool handy little trick. I did this with Basecamp as well. I just found the URL path of this image, put it after Basecamp and I was able to actually copy that image and change it from there. So I'm gonna save this to my desktop and yep, it's called sketch line, which is totally fine. So we've got that. Now let's go back to Magnify and let's look at the rest of this code as well real quick. So we're back on our homepage on Magnify. I've got the little, I've got the little graphic saved on my desktop. And here we are, we've got ourselves a class with all this right here. So first things first, with all this ready, let's go to the tutorial site and we're gonna use the visual builder. Now I'm using Divi with this, but you don't actually have to use Divi. You could apply this effect with any site, whether you're using WordPress or not. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go down here. So again, we wanna accent the best Divi resources. So first things first, let me go into the, the module here. And this is an H2, but you can apply this to headings or regular text or whatever you wanna do. 
So I'm going to look at this and I'm gonna, maybe let's bold this, just the best Divi resources. Let's do italic and then let's give this a color as well. So let's give it that same orange since that's what color that line is. So let's um, tell you what, let's inspect this and find that same orange real quick. So that looks like a color right there, that orange color of ECE433D. So I've got that selected. I'm gonna go back to the tutorial set here and I'm going to give this a text color. So I've just got that selected and I'm gonna do text color. And let's just pick this orange, but we're gonna replace it. So with that selected, I've got an orange that's close, but it's not quite the same orange. So let's go into the text side and let's just replace that color. So there we go. We've got the orange right there. Now, one thing you'll notice is that when you do that sort of effect, when you customize text within other text, it creates what's called a span. So you'll see the code here. And if you're not familiar with HTML or CSS, I know this is probably a little scary, but again, that's why I developed a, a course around CSS. So you see this and you feel comfortable because what this is doing is saying, hey, in this section right here, I want you to change the color and then you're gonna see that we're gonna add this underline too. And what that does is it creates what's called a span. So this is saying, hey, span, and then it gives that color style right there. So the next step to this is to add that actual underline. So what I'll do is we first off, since we saw that this had two elements, it had a class for a sketch underline, and then it had the actual image path itself. That's what we need to translate over to my site right here. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm gonna do Control S for save. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add this image file to my site. So I'm gonna do new media, I'll keep this window open. And we're just going to drag that little ping file that I have saved on my computer. And there we go, you can see there is sketch line right there. And then this is what we're gonna use to put in that section. Now, let's go ahead and take this entire class. And I'm gonna take this from the very start to the very end. And I'm gonna add this to my CSS. Now, with CSS, it's ideal to put it in your child theme style sheet. I'm gonna be covering that in a future tutorial here. For right now, I'm just gonna go into my theme customizer and I'm gonna put it right here. So you'll see how this works here. So I'm gonna go into my additional CSS and I'm just gonna drop that class in there. Now, what we need to do is we need to take the file that we uploaded, we need to take that URL path and that's what we need to put in the CSS. Otherwise, it's not gonna know where that URL is coming from. So I'm going to paste the entire URL right there. And we'll keep that there for now. There's a couple of things I'll mention with that, but since we're just pulling the code from the other site, we know this is gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and put that right there. And let's kick, click publish. Now, you'll notice that while we did publish that, nothing has changed on the actual page itself right here. And that's because we have not added the class. So we added the class to CSS, but we haven't added it to those words. So check this out, we're almost done. We're gonna go back into the text module. If you're on the visual side, you can just go to the text side. And then you'll see here that after span, it's saying, hey, here's a style with the coloring. And all we have to do is add the class. So watch this. And if, you're, if this is terrifying for you, don't worry, I'm gonna provide the code below for you to be able to do this. But I'm gonna add class equals, what do we call it, sketch underline, and we're not going to do the period, and there we go. Check that out. Because I added that class of sketch underline, and because I have the code in there, it's pulling that underline that we just put in our CSS. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's back out, and let me back out of the visual builder, and I'll do an inspect element on this, just to kinda uh, walk you through this as we wrap this up. So there you go. Again, we did a couple steps there. We went on this magnify site. I literally just inspect elemented this and then found that URL path. I put that behind the domain name and actually downloaded that actual, uh, that little file there that has that sketch. And then I just took the CSS that was associated with that. I put it into the CSS here. And now all I had to do was assign that class to this section of text and boom. We've got that, it looks good on desktop. It's gonna look good on mobile. I'd probably adjust the line height on this for mobile, um, but you could do that with the Divi settings or with CSS if you wanted to, but it's gonna look good. And again, it's very, very easy. Last thing I'll do real quick is just kind of walk you through 
what CSS is affecting that. So again, we've got the background, which is the image itself. And then we didn't write this from scratch, but I'll just walk you through. This is saying that we want that line to be on the bottom. We want it to be on the left and it is not repeating. Otherwise it would repeat everywhere. So I think if we, I'm not sure what this will do. Yeah, see right there, if we did no, if we did, if it was repeating, it's gonna go everywhere. So we wanna say no, repeat. And then this is saying the background size of 100%. And you might be able to adjust this to, uh, I think I took this from the Basecamp site. I'm trying to remember. Oh, actually, yeah, you can just knock that out and bam, there you go, 100% is fine for that. And then the padding on the bottom, you'll notice I did that because normally it would be kind of up in the words and that can be kind of hard to read. So I just did pad and botting, or excuse me, padding bottom, and then just adjusted that a little bit. And then we're good to go. So that's just kind of an overview of what that CSS is in there now. Now, one thing you could do is you could go into this link and you could take out your URL. This is called doing a relative link. And I do this sometimes just because uh, if you ever add an SSL security certificate or you ever change domains, sometimes you have to go through and change the links. So if you do that, it will stay there, which is a pretty cool handy effect. So there you go, guys, that's it. We were able to, just by pulling some code off uh, previous design I did, we were able to create this really cool sketch underline effect. Now, with this file itself, uh, I'll pull up this little sketch underline. This is an actual image file. This is a transparent PNG. So if you had like an image with a white background, it is gonna show that. Um, the only thing about this is that you can't change the color with code, unfortunately. When I took this from Basecamp, I actually found this image and I took it into Photoshop and I just made it orange. I made it the same color of this. So you will have to do this on a branded site. That way you're able to change the colors. But again, you can add that to anything. And then with this same effect, what's so cool about this is now I could add this anywhere else on the site. So just to wrap up completely here, if we go here, let's say you wanted to add this effect on another area of the site. Um, let's do it like right here. You could do two full column width layout. So watch this, full column width. Let's go ahead and do a color change. And again, you could go through and put the, chain, the correct color in there, but all I'd have to do after the span is add class of sketch underline. And there you go. How cool is that, guys? And then you would just change that color right there to the correct color. But once you have something like that in place, you can put this on all of your sites. And then moving forward, if the client wants to change it to blue or something, all you have to do is change the actual color of the bar and then you're good to go. So super, super cool effect. Again, I know we covered a lot in this tutorial and it can seem a little scary. So if you're really wanting to level up with CSS, highly recommend checking out my CSS course. I'd love to have you in that. Again, there is a promo code below so you can get a discount if you join today. And that also sets you up to be in my private CSS course Facebook group too. So you can connect with me directly, ask questions, get involved with other students. So super, super cool. Would love to have you in if you're ready to level up as a, as a uh, Divi web designer. Otherwise, guys, check out the post with the code below and you'll be able to have some fun using this sort of effect. And again, the methods here, you can apply it to any sort of effect you wanna do with any sort of text underline. So hope you enjoyed this one. Keep a lookout for a ton of tutorials coming up. See you guys next time.